open ourselves up to cosmic sadness. Give your sorrow all the space and shelter in yourself that is its due. For if everyone bears his grief honestly and courageously, the sorrow that now fills the world will abate. All of I, that that could be true, perhaps, that, that the sorrow that fills the world would abate. But you now I think of this evening as a space that we, you know, as a community, as we come together over Zoom to open ourselves up to that sadness. In a way, it's kind of like the uh, what I think about what we do in, in Tisha B'Av, uh, where we, we have a kind of bounded time where we, we open up to a kind of, of collective grief. So we, we make that space to communally mourn. Some of us have lost loved ones, uh, friends. No. Thankfully, uh, Osei Shalom hasn't, to my knowledge, been significantly impacted yet by losing people. We have lost people. All of us have lost the lives and much of the freedom that we had in the beginning of March. Many of us, in addition to this loss, this mourning, this grief, may have a deep sense of anger or even rage at what I would say is the incompetence of our federal government's response, knowing that with different decisions, knowing that if people were willing to place science above politics, that many lives in our country could have been saved and that 127,000 number could be a lot lower. There's no re reason why we need to lead the world in number of COVID cases. And so we, we make space for that. It's like, there's the grief, but, you know, speaking personally, and I'm sure for many of us, there's also that, that anger that is there as well. Uh, but we make space for the grief, the sadness, the anger, all of that, you, you know, and, and, and whatever other emotions, you know, that come up and as we try and give space to what's there inside each of us as we honor uh, those we've lost, as we honor those who our country has lost. So we'll, with that uh, framing of sorts, um, we'll begin the, this uh, process of honoring with, with just, you know, uh, a regular Mariv service, more or less, of, of sorts, with a few few additions here and there. But um, so we, um, you know, connect up with the spiritual pathways of our people. So we're uh, we're going to be following in the the uh, prayers for a house of mourning reconstructions prayer book that uh, Michael's going to be walking us through, and. We are going to start on page 13. Uh, this we can go ahead and rise for, for Barhu and Cantor Charlie will lead us. Vihu Rahum Yacha Peravon Velo Yishkit Vihirba, La Shiva Povolo Yir Kolamato, Adonai Hoshimel Yanenu Vion Kurenu, Barhu et Adonai Hamavorach. Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Le'olam Va'ed Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Le'olam Va'ed Please be seated. Be seated. It's this section that celebrates God and nature. I wanted to share a new poem I, I just encountered uh, by the Native American poet Joy Harjo, also a poet laureate of the United States. It's called Eagle Poem. So uh, I invite you to just kind of close your eyes if you're comfortable, but just receive the, the poem as I, as I read it. To pray, you open your whole self 
to sky, to earth, to sun, to moon, to one whole voice that is you. And know there is more that you can't see, can't hear, can't know, except in moments steadily growing, and in languages that aren't always sound, but other circles of motion. Like Eagle that Sunday morning over Salt River, circles in blue sky, in wind, swept our hearts clean with sacred wings, we see you, see ourselves, and know that we must take the utmost care and kindness in all things. Breathe in, knowing we are made of all this, and breathe, knowing we are truly blessed because we were born and die soon within a true circle of motion, like eagle rounding out the morning inside us. We pray that it will be done in beauty, in beauty. Aleinu leolam pa'el Baruch atzadonai Amari barabim Amen Page 17 We'll join together for the interpretive Ahavat Olam, We Are Loved. We are loved by an unending love. We are loved by an unending love. We are embraced by arms that find us, even when we are hidden from ourselves. We are touched by fingers that soothe us, even when we are too proud for soothing. We are counseled by voices that guide us, even when we are too embittered to hear. We are loved by an unending love. We are loved by an unending love. We are supported by hands that uplift us, even in the midst of a fall. We are urged on by eyes that meet us, even when we are too weak for meeting. We are loved by an unending love. We are loved by an unending love. Embraced, touched, soothed, and counseled, ours are the arms, the fingers, the voices, Ours are the hands, the eyes, the smiles. We are loved by an unending love. We are loved by an unending love. Blessed are you, beloved one, who loves your people, Israel. Join together on page 21 for Kriyat Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kivod, Malachut Leolam Vahed. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Levavcha uvchol Nafshecha uvchol Meodecha. Vehayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavacha hayom alivavecha 
ושינן טעם לבניך, ודיברת בם, בשבתך בביתך, ובלכתך בדרך, ובשוך בך ובקומך, וקשרתם לאות על ידיך, והיו לתותפות בין עיניך, וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך, ובישריך. And we continue individually with either of the two selections from Torah that follow. And the third paragraph, Parashat Tzitzit, on, and so we continue individually through page 29. Adonai Eloichem Emet. We turn to page 35. As we recall the crossing of the sea, we'll join together from Micha Mocha at the top of the page, page 35. Micha Mocha Ba'elim Adonai, Micha Mocha Nedar Ba'kodesh, Nora Tehilot Osefele. מלכותך ראו בניך, בוקע ים לפני משה, זה אלי אנו ויאמרו, אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד, ונאמר כי פדרנה את יעקב, וגילו מחזק ממנו, ברוך אתה אדוני, גאל ישראל. Page 37, we continue individually in the Hashkivenu prayer. We'll join together for the Khatima in a moment. Frosalenu Sukkot Sukkot Shalom Echa Frosalenu Sukkot Shalom Echa Yalalalai Yalalalai Yalalalalalai Yalalalai Yalalalai Yalalalalalalai Ufro Salenu Sukkot, Sukkot, she 
אלומיך. ברוך אתה אדוני, שומר עם ישראל וכל יושבי תבל לעד. חצי קדש, our transition to the Yamida is on page 43. יתקדל ויתקדש שמי רבה. אמן. בילמה דברה חירותי וימליך מלכותי, בחיי חרון ובימי חרון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קריב ימרו. אמן. יהי שמי רבה מבורך, לעולם עולם מי עלמיה. יתברך, יתברך כפי שתבח ויתפאר ותומם ויתנשא, ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלה על שמי דקוד שב בריחו. לעילה מן כל בחטא ושירתה, תוש בחטא ונחמתה, דם איראן בעלמא ויאמרו אמן. Um, it's the uh, weekday Amidah, so it's, it's, a little, it's a bit longer than Shabbat. It's some different themes to, to stiff, sit with and contemplate and uh, work into your prayer. Uh, and then there's, of course, an alternative Amidah that begins on 76 that works with guided imagery and also be powerful. So we'll come back. together with uh, Osei Shalom uh, in a few minutes. We'll, we'll talk in Yamida silently.
Um, I say Shalom is at the end of the Amidah on page 75. I say Shalom in Roman. Who say Shalom Aleinu? Call Israel, they are called Yoshvetevel, they move, they move, Amen. O se shalom bim Roma, O ya se shalom ale. Call Israel, they are called Yoshvetevel, they move, they move, Amen. Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Alenu, they are called Israel, Yase Shalom. Yase shalom, shalom alenu, li al kolos vetebel. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom alenu, li al kol Israel. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom alenu. The alcohol you should As we turn to prayers for healing, I wanted to offer a, an English prayer uh, by the Reverend Richard, Richard Bott that he wrote for this time of COVID-19 that I uh, adapted slightly for a Jewish context that uh, I'm thankful to Mary Rita Wieners for directing me to. In this time of COVID-19, we pray. When we aren't sure, God, help us be calm. When information comes from all sides, correct and not, help us to discern. When fear makes it hard to breathe and anxiety seems to be the order of the day, slow us down, God. Help us to reach out with our hearts when we can't touch with our hands. Help us to be socially connected when we have to be socially distant. Help us to love as fully as we can, recognizing the radiant beauty of the person before us, even over a Zoom screen. For the doctors, we pray. For the nurses, we pray. For the technicians and the janitors and the aides and the caregivers, we pray. For the researchers and theorists, the epidemiologists and investigators, for all those who are sick and on those who are grieving, we pray for all who are affected all around the world. We pray for safety, for health, for wholeness. 
May we feed the hungry, give drinks to the thirsty, clothe the naked and house those without homes. May we walk with those who feel they are alone. May we do all that we can to heal the sick in spite of the epidemic, in spite of the fear. Help us, O God, that we may help each other in the love of the Creator, in the name of the Healer. With awareness of your presence that is in all and with all, we pray. May it be so, Kenyahi Ratsu. Amen, amen. So I'll um, read um, some prayers, um, uh, some uh, names for, our, uh, our, for healing. Uh, some of whom, a couple of people sent me uh, names of people with COVID, but I, I'm going to, you know, praying for healing for all who are in, in need. And uh, if there are other particular names uh, you'd like me to read, you can put them in the, in the chat, type them into the chat. Morty Zimmerman, Chuck Opperman, Liuba Becker, Semyon Becker, Elena Skamarakas, Leah Bat Liuba Vesemyon, Stan Kuznets, Yoshua Ben Moshe Vabasya, Pauline Pivowar, Pesha Miriam Bat Yeshayahu Moshe Vesurelea, Bonnie Dank, Sara Bat Mordechai Bat Sheva, Carol Kalman, Raina Bat Naftali Vabracha, Jason Cook, Ari Ben Rivka of the William, Marcy Davis, Minda Crosby, John Boer, Emily Blank, Elisa, Elisa Bat Fival Vachava, Leonid Maiman, Natan Ben Moshe Varosa, Elani Myers, Jay Long, Buddy Lake, Robbie Esmond, Randy Sievert, Mary Wieners, Bernie Goldblatt. So for all these names that we've said, those we haven't mentioned, we can chant together our uh, words of healing from the Book of Numbers, Ana Elna Rafana La. Please God, bring healing. Just those five words, Ana Elna. Rafanala Ana 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 Rise now for Elenu, which I see is already queued up. If you happen, it's on uh, page 89 if you happen to be following along in the physical book. Please rise. Alenu Lishabach Ladon Hakol, Latet Kedula Leot Sebere Sheet, Shinatan Lanu Torah Temet, the Chayeolam Nata Betochenu. Vanachnu kaorim, umishtachavim, umodim, lifne melech, malache hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. We continue individually through page 93.
Kakatu Bitorotecha, Adunayim Loch Leolam Vaed, Vene Mar, Vahaya Adunai, Lamelech al Kol Haaretz, Bayomahu, Bayomahu, Ye Adunai Echad, Ushmo, Ushmo, Ushmo Echad. We'll offer just a, a couple of readings uh, to lead us into to Kaddish here. I invite uh, John to like the We Remember Them reading. In the rising of the sun and in its going down, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of the buds and, and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we remember them. In the rustling of leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. So long as we live, they too shall live for they, they are now a part of us as we remember them. Actually, Michael, if you could turn us to page 97. Uh, I wanted to offer this poem from uh, the Israeli poet Zelda. One some of us are probably familiar with. Where's each of these Thousands and thousands of people lost. Each one of them had a name. Each one of them was a unique being. So we remember that uh, with this poem. The Chol Ish Yeshem. Each of us has a name. Each of us has a name given by God and given by our parents. Each of us has a name given by our stature and our smile and given by what we wear. Each of us has a name given by the mountains and given by our walls. Each of us has a name given by the stars and given by our neighbors. Each of us has a name given by our sins and given by our longing. Each of us has a name given by our enemies and given by our love. Each of us has a name given by our celebrations and given by our work. Each of us has a name given by the seasons and given by our blindness. Each of us has a name given by the sea and given by our death. Mechol ish yeshem, shenatan lo hayam, venatan lo moto. In each of these names has become fully part again of that one great name. So in in the I'll invite people uh, if there if there are uh, those you've uh, lost uh, friends family uh, to COVID to put those into the chat and, and I'll read those. But from our community, um, we're remembering Michelle Rosen, who's a family member of Shelley Reese. Robert Price, who's the brother of C J Skamarakas. Nathan Edelberg, Father Barry Edelberg, Joe Kaplan, C. Okay. We offer this on behalf of all of those many thousands. Uh, who've died. So Mourner's Kaddish is 
on page 103. Yidgadal, Yidgadash, Amen. Yalma, Divrach, Rite, Yamlich, Mahutere, Mechae, Home, Yumechon, Kaye, Shmei Rabbah Mubarach Elam Ormei Al Hayal Yitbarach Yishtabach Yitbar Yitramam Bit Nasei Vita Dar Vita Le Vita Lal Shmei Dekul Brichu Kol Birchata Vishirata Kush Bechata Menechamata Tamiron Yama Vimru Amen Yishlam Rabbah Min Shemaya Chayim Aleinu, Yom Kod Yisrael, Bimru, Amen. Yaseh Shalom Bimru Amav, Yaseh Shalom Aleinu, Yom Kod Yisrael, Yom Kod Yosvei Tevel, Bimru, Amen. May their many memories be a blessing in the lives of those they've left behind. Amen, Vi Amen. You can be seated. I think, uh, Charlie, do we know, to uh, close our service, do we have our uh, special guest that joined us? Or, or yes, I do see. I see. Mm -hmm. Several weeks ago, when uh, we first discussed creating this service as a memorial for those uh, affected by COVID, uh, I was asked if I had in mind uh, some kind of special song that we could use to conclude the service. And uh, I said immediately, yes, I do. I have the perfect song for this, uh, for this service. And it was written by a friend of ours and uh, had the idea, let's find out if this friend of ours can, uh, can join us for the, uh, for the service and sing this. So I would like to introduce our friend Joe Jenks, who, uh, who wrote a uh, wonderful song that I think is the perfect, uh, perfect conclusion for this service. Joe, you're on. Thank you. Um, an honor to be with you today. And, and um, I share your sense of loss at so many who have passed as a result of COVID or during COVID. This is a song called All Will Be Well. Wherever life may call you, wherever 
Wherever you may dwell All will be well, all will be well May you go forth To mend what has been broken To feed those who are hungry To quench the ones who thirst For a world of compassion For mercy that abounds and a place to dwell in sacred gentleness All will be well All will be well All manner of things will be well Wherever life may call you Wherever you may dwell all will be well, all will be well Wherever life may call you Wherever you may dwell All will be well, all will be well All will be well, all will be well Todarabaja, thank you very much. Mm. You're uh, welcome. At this time, uh, we'd like to, I think, open up uh, the, the service to those who are here tonight to uh, share any thoughts that you have. And uh, I guess you can raise your hand, and, uh, and I think Michael will be able to call on you, and uh, we'll have your thoughts shared with all of us. That work for you, Michael? Oh, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, I'm just going to ask people to come off a of mute. Um, All right. Yeah. Let's hope we don't take too much of a cacophony. Okay. It was a beautiful service. It really was. And asking Joe to sing at the end was a perfect capstone, Charlie. I think it worked. Thank you. It did work. <laughs> his, his voice is so soothing. And that song is just so perfect for all of the fear and rage and everything else that the rabbi talked about at the beginning. It, it's it's so such an affirm, affirmative statement of um, where we might go next. Thank you. Anyone else have anything they'd like to share? Uh, Dan, Dan. You, wanna, you wanna unmute? Dan. Dan, you need to unmute yourself. There you go. So, uh, no, I just wanted to also um, think about not those who had, not just those who had passed, uh, but also those who um, got very sick mm -hmm. and survived, but their lives are not the same, uh, either through chronic. Uh, respiratory, um, vascular problems, and even neurologic problems. And I don't know the numbers or the statistics, but there are a lot of people that did not die, but they are, uh, they're there and their families' lives have changed forever. Um, mm -hmm. uh, chronic problems and uh, recovery is far, if at all, is far off in the distance. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for holding this service. I think it meant a lot to me to participate. And uh, thank you, Joe Jenks, for that beautiful song. Uh, and everyone else that participated. Uh, always lovely to hear Charlie and Rabbi. So I'll just say that I, I have such a hard time wrapping my head around 127,000 in this mm -hmm. country and I think 500,000 across the globe, uh, it's, it's essentially unfathomable to me. But when I hear the individual names, that really resonates. Mm -hmm. Those are individuals, mm -hmm. as they all are, but it's hard, it, it essentially puts the name, puts the face to, it's a real person, it's not just a number. Mm -hmm. 
Joe, thanks for being with us tonight. Yeah. Uh, my honor. My honor. I was going to say, um, sort of on those same lines, like we lost our best friend, Joe Kaplan. I know what we're going through and his family is going through. And then when I see every night these numbers that are in the hundreds of thousands kind of thing, it was like for each one of those, there's all these people, hope I imagine, that are grieving for that person as we're grieving for our person. I didn't, I didn't think that this, uh, this was an abstraction. This is what it was to us, but our son-in-law is in the ICU right now. Oh, no. Getting, uh, getting plasma from a survivor. I... We hope that um, it, it will work out. He's, how old is Chuck? Mid to late forties. Um, he was a healthy, robust kind of a guy until he wasn't. He's in Florida. He's in Florida. So it's it's hard for our daughter, our grandson, his, our, their friends, the rest of our family down there. So it's not an abstraction anymore. So keep us in your thoughts. Linda, what was his name again? His name is Chuck Opperman. Thank you. Diane and Howard, did you want to maybe just say a, 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 a tiny bit about your friend? Um, and just remembering him or, you know, a little, a, a tiny something, uh, you know, to give us a sense of him? Sure. Uh, so Joe, uh, Joe, is, Joe is our friend for, I don't know, 35, 40 mm -hmm. years. Uh, 36. 36 years, I know. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, he, he was one of those people that was really larger than life, you know, I, and he was my best friend. And I, I never could believe that someone so amazing as this man could be my best friend. <laughs> you know, it was like a humbling thing that somebody so amazing would consider me, give me the honor of being so close to him. But, he was a uh, one of the you know an attorney. Uh, he would he would he ran a law firm in D.C. where he would uh, basically take on the cases of federal employees who were discriminated against. That was his, you know that that was the law he practiced, and he would always be on the list of of D.C.'s best lawyers. And it was it was you know and it wasn't the kind of law that made you a, a you know a rich man. You know what I mean? It was like fighting the good fight kind of law. And yeah. it was amazing, and, and, and he was a he and his wife were were. were uh, He's my best friend. Yeah, were, 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 were performers. They would they they volunteered for that, and, and he was the president of the Hexagon Players, who uh, every year put on a uh, a musical uh, extravaganza to raise money for like, charity. To raise money for charity, the capital like the Capital Steps kind of performing, and uh, they spent all this time doing that. All the money would go to the to different charities every year, and. I don't know where he spent the time. He taught classes at American University. The guy was running on 40 hours a day, and the rest of us are on 24 hours a day. Mm. Uh, just a, a loving father and husband. I mean, just just beloved by his uh, three daughters and his wife. And we did our Aww. family trips, you know, as you do with your close friends, you know. Yeah, the children we, grew up together and yeah, all of that. Our so, kids uh, all grew up together, family vacations And the family is year. not doing that well. I mean, no. they are just really having a... And they all had COVID. The whole family, they were all together. They were all very sick. Six adults. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. so, so they're having a rough time, it's um, been, recoup, you know, getting themselves to move on. But thank you for asking. That was, the, that was nice. And it's, it, it does help to talk. <laughs> you know, like breaking down every other day, <laughs> including during the service. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. May I say something? Um, in in the wake of um, of nine eleven, I was finding out for years afterwards about people that I knew that had died or were seriously injured as a result of that. But I didn't know it because I live an itinerant life, and so many of our relationships professionally are cyclical, and um, 
you know, we encounter people a few times a year in the course of our work. And if we're not in daily contact, then we might miss out on a piece of that story. And my guess is all of us will be finding out for months or even years to come about people that we know, people that we love, people that have been important to us in our lives who have either passed uh, or are, their lives have been radically affected by this. And I, I, um, I just hold that intention in my heart and hold the space in my heart, not just for the grief we are in now, but an awareness of the grief that may touch us as we learn about things that have already happened, but we don't yet know. Anyone else have something you'd like to share? I joke at services that our congregation is not this shy. But if, if as uh, Kohelet said, to everything there is a season, there's a well, time to share. Sometimes we've said it all. Yeah, there's a time to share and a time to, uh, to know when it's done. Hopefully, eventually, all will be well. Amen. Amen, via amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this evening. I just, I just wanted to add one comment, though. Um, surprise, yeah. Um, in uh, in reference again to what Rabbi Josh was saying at the beginning, uh, um, there's grief, there's sorrow, but there's also a lot of anger and a lot of frustration. Um, uh, about how this all has come about and um, the um, and it's, it's hard to balance those two it's hard to balance those two or hold those two uh, but I think it is important um, uh, for me at least um, to be sad and, and to grieve but also to uh, be awake to um, the anger and uh, what's actually going on. Yeah. No, it's not like a, uh, it's not an earthquake, right? Earthquakes, we, we can't even attribute to, uh, you know, climate change yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, but uh, yeah, so, I mean, may we, you know, for those of us who, for whom the anger is very real, you know, may we not just squelch that, but really find, you know, it can be, anger can be a very uh, destructive, but can be very powerful and motivating um, emotion to, to channel for, you know, for writing the, working to right the wrong that it's being prompted by. And thanks to, uh, I should also uh, thank John and, uh, Mary Rita, and we should also, I guess she wasn't able to make it, but give a shout out to Karen Meckler, who who was uh, who pushed us to uh, suggest we do this in the, in the first place. Uh, this is a very, you know, beautiful thing to, to, to come together like this. It's good to see everybody. Yeah. Even like this. <laughs> Thank you very much for doing for offering the service and Joe. The music was great and Charlie, great again and Rabbi Josh. Yeah, Joe, we have Josh, a cantorial position opening up soon. <laughs> <laughs> we might have an inside track. You too uh, would live in Laurel, Maryland. In spite of probably being literally twice the size of Charlie Bernhardt, those <laughs> those shoes are bigger than I can fill. That's, there's more of you to love. <laughs> We could zoom you in, Joe, with no problem. <laughs> no worries. They like this. They won't my, matter. My Hebrew is going to be a little rough. I'm going to need yeah, some serious we, coaching, yeah, but I'll, I'll get there. Track. We have some good language people, actually. Yeah, we'll work on it with you, Joe. It's no problem. I, I had to learn phonetics at conservatory so I could sing in French and Italian and Spanish and Russian and German. So well, you did I'm great. sure that there's got to be some phonetic key <laughs> for Hebrew as well. But you did really well with Tikkun Olam. So. <laughs> I had a couple of good coaches. <laughs> oh, thank you, brother. All right. Thank Bye, you to thank you to all. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you. Okay. Stay well. Good night, all. Be well. Lila Tov, everyone. <laughs>
Thank you for co-hosting, Michael. Thank you, John. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael, for your scrolling. Uh, <laughs>